And, uh, but towards the end of January, we learn about the formation of the Dark Force. Two good friends of mine, uh, Yap Siu Chun, who came from Saramban, and Hugh Ken Min, who came from Taipei, three of us full heartedly joined the Dark Force. We did not realize the dangers, we did not quite realize what we were going in there for. But we did feel that we have to play uh, the little part that we can to help to defend Singapore. We were also appalled by the atrocities that were committed by the Japanese in China. And another reason is because we were English speaking and most of the recruits of the Dell Force were Chinese educators, so we thought we could play part in the liaison between the Chinese recruits and the British officers. So, we reported for duty in a Chinese high school in Kim Yam Road of River Valley Road. Uh, I was assigned to be the quartermaster sergeant in charge of the armory and supplies. So I have pretty shall I say, cozy job in a sense, because <laughs> I was not sent to the front. The two friends of mine, they were sent to the front. They were, a lot, uh, they were assigned to different platoons, and they were sent to the front after very little bit of training. Two or three days, put in uniform, issued with a rifle, and trained to march and how to use a rifle, and off they went. One to Sumai Karanji area and the other to Bukatima. I'm sure that they saw action, but I did not have a chance to talk to them when they came back. The officers of the Dell Force were mainly, were, 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 were entirely British. They were either police officers, civil servants, or those working in the uh, Ch uh, Chinese protectorate's office. Some of them speak Hokkien, Cantonese, and so on. There were two factions. The communist faction was a much bigger, uh, really, group, and they were in the Kim Yam Road, uh, road area, whereas a communal faction had a headquarters nearer to the city center. 